In today's video, we are making the classic smash burger, and I promise it's everything you have ever wanted. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today we are knocking out the classic smash burger. Listen, you could make a Whopper at home, or you could make a burger with some fried onions, or you could make this easy and simple smash burger that will find its way to the deepest part of your heart. Hey, before we jump into that though, I wanna thank the sponsor for today's video and that is Fiverr. Listen, first off, I've been using Fiverr for years so I'm stoked that they're sponsoring this video. What is Fiverr? Basically, it connects your business to a bunch of professional freelancers who deliver digital goods. I'm talking logo design, animation, video editing, whatever you need for your business that's digital, go to Fiverr. If you've been watching more seasoning the past couple years, you know we've been using the same like and subscribe animation. It's old, it's tired, I wanted something new, so I headed on over to Fiverr. All I did was search on there for a couple minutes. I found the freelancer I wanted. Check this out. It cost me $10. He had it to me in less than 12 hours and they were super easy to work with. There are true masters of their craft on Fiverr. People have been doing this for a long time and they're incredibly talented at what they do. So look, if you're thinking about it, don't think about it. Just go on over to fiverr.com slash more seasoning and check out the digital services they offer. Use code more seasoning for 10% off. Fiverr, I stand by you guys. I've used you forever thank you for sponsoring this video but we got to get back to some burgers smash burgers and all i got to say is b-roll time let's go It's smash burger time, so let's go over these ingredients. There's not very many of them. The first one you're gonna need is 80-20 ground beef. That means 80% lean, 20% fat. What the fuck sauce? Mayo, ketchup, yellow mustard, nasty ass American cheese, a yellow or white onion, some garlic dill pickles, a head of iceberg lettuce, a high smoke point oil like grapeseed or avocado, and some soft white buns, and butter, Forgot about the butter. All right, it is prep work time and I am in your face and personal. Since it's personal, my favorite color is blue, but it is time to make a bomb burger sauce. And the first thing we're gonna do is equal parts ketchup, equal parts mustard, equal parts mayo, a dash of some what the f sauce. Then we're gonna take six or seven pickle chips and we are going to finally dice them and throw them into our sauce. Then we're gonna add just a shot of the juice. Then we're gonna add a pinch of salt, 25 cranks of some black cracked pepper, and then we mix. And just like that, that burger sauce is gonna come. Woo! Now we're just gonna do a taste test, make sure we don't need any more salt or pepper. That shit never gets old. All right, next we are going to cut up our yellow or our white onion. Do a thin slice on that outer shell, pull that off, then we're gonna chop the top off. Then we're gonna go ahead and do thin slices about halfway down the onion. We're gonna separate all those rings. Man, this damn money is just so beautiful. Good, they burn. Look at then we just scoop them up into the bowl. All right, time to take this iceberg to sliceberg. And the reason we're not just gonna rip one big leaf off and fold it up is because we want this to look professional. We want it to be beautiful. We want a little bit of crunchy lettuce in every bite. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this in half. Then we're gonna go ahead and run our knife along the edge of it very thinly, getting these nice thin slices that are stackable. Scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next let's do our ground beef for the smash burgers. Very easy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take a small ball of this beef about that size and then I'm going to lightly just kind of form this into a ball there we go a nice ball it's got a lot of air inside we do not want to smush that down so we're gonna do two per burger so I'm gonna get another one equal size again we're gonna delicately get these into a ball and Voila. And then all we do after that is we're gonna hit it with a nice pinch of salt on top and some fresh black cracked pepper on top. And then we're just gonna dance them around the cutting board to collect the salt and pepper on the bottom as well. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do on the stove is toast our buns. So let that be the last thing we do on our prep work. So all I'm gonna do, open my buns up. That sounded crazy. Then we're just gonna do a tiny little dab of mayo on each of these. 
and then all we're gonna do is just spread it out with a knife. And at this point, we've got all our prep work done. We're gonna flip the cameras over to the stove. Let's make a smash burger. All right, so here we are over at the stove, and yes, I suggest you wear an apron, because it is gonna sizzle and pop a little bit here shortly, but this is what your setup is gonna look like. All right, over here, I've got my onions in a bowl and about two tablespoons of soft butter right behind it. Next to that, I've got a medium saute pan. Next to that, I've got a flat pan that I can cook my burgers on. You can also use a large saute pan if you do not have this. Next to that, I've got my burger meat, my mayo covered buns, my opened American cheese, and then just a little baking sheet with a rack so when my buns are done, they don't get soggy. All right, so I've got my pan on a low heat, as you can see. Pretty low, because we're gonna wanna slowly cook these onions. So we're gonna put our onions in here on that low heat, and then for the time being, we're just gonna hit them with a drizzle of some grapeseed oil. Go ahead and toss them around just like that. Get them nice and covered, and then we're gonna spread them out just like that, and we're gonna slowly cook these for eight to 10 minutes. All right, so before we get our burgers on here, I wanna go ahead and get the buns done and out of the way. So I've got this on a medium heat, that's a low medium heat, and then I'm just gonna monitor these buns. I'm gonna check about every 30 seconds, just to make sure they're getting nice and toasty underneath. Uh, the bottom one, I'm probably also gonna toast the opposite side of it because it'll be a little softer than I like. All right, so once your onions start to sizzle and pop, it's been about two minutes, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get those onions to the front of the pan, and then we're just gonna toss them just like that. We just wanna keep them moving, swirl them around, spread them out again. Again, it shouldn't be like deadly hot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread them out so they all kind of cook evenly. All right, let's go ahead and check that bottom one. Ah, nice, toasty, beautiful, nice. I'm gonna let the other side toast as well because they are a little soft. Check you out. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna let this one toast too, screw it. Like it's very soft on the other side, so let's add a little bit of firmness in there. All right, it's only been about 20 seconds on here. As you can see, that guy is good to go. All we're gonna do is just toss him on here, super hot side up, that way the steam escapes. And again, this guy is probably perfect, yep. All right, so once these onions start to get nice and soft, we can see we got some browning going on. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a few of these guys, pats of butter, we're gonna throw them in there. I don't think we'll need all of them, let's not overdo it. About a tablespoon in there, and then we're just gonna go ahead and mix that butter in with all those onions. And then we're gonna add a couple of little pinches of salt, nothing too crazy, just like that. And about 15 to 20 cranks of some black cracked pepper. And we're just gonna go ahead and toss them around, just like that. And again, on a nice low heat, we're just gonna let these go for another couple of minutes just so they get nice and browned. All right, so since we added the butter, we have kept this on a very low heat and it has been cooking for about six or seven minutes at this point. And this is where we want it to be. Some nice, beautiful, caramelized brown onions. We're gonna go ahead and just try to shake some of that butter out, just like that. And then we're gonna throw that into our bowl. All right, so we got everything out of the way except for the burgers. Our buns are toasted, our onions are caramelized. So now all we have to do is smash our burgers. So right here, I've got myself a little spatula. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ball of the burger on here and then I'm just gonna smash it down to as thin as I can get it without breaking it. We're gonna put this on a very high heat with some oil and we're just gonna get right into it. So let's go. And here we go, first burger over on this side. I'm grabbing my spatula. I'm just gonna push it down. Smash that burger. Slowly let up. Make sure we get that even thickness all the way through. That second burger, here we go. And smashing tin. All right, so these are gonna cook extremely fast. And you're gonna know when to flip it when you start to see all of the juices rise through the meat and pool on the surface. Once we see that, we're gonna flip it and immediately hit it with our American cheese. And it's probably only gonna cook on that second side for maybe 45 to 60 seconds. All right, as we can see, our juices are pooling. So I'm just gonna come in here. I got my little fish spatula and beautiful. Yeah. Oh, God dang, it's a show. Here we go, here we go. Second one, and flip mode. Hit that cheese. One and two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about 30 to 45 seconds. Our cheese is melted. Our burner is off. We're grabbing our patties. At this point, our smash burger ingredients are done. We're gonna build this thing. Let's hit the B-roll. <laughs> Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, you hear the music so you know what time it is. It is time for the taste test for our Smash Burger. Perfectly layered, perfectly cheesy. Let's waste no more time. Oh, I mean, just look at that. Perfect. That bun just gives us just enough give to, let's get it. Three, two, one. Mmm. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I just died and came back to life. This is so bomb. The lettuce and the pickles, they just give that freshness while the cheese and the onions, they just give that savory goodness. Oh, so good. Smash or pass? And the answer is smash every single time. You can add a slice of tomato to this to brighten it up a little bit more if you want. There's so many things you could do with a smash burger, but this is my favorite. These onions just bring it together so well. It's fire, it's gas. The beauty of smash burgers is you can put whatever you want on them. They're fast, they're easy, they come together they're incredibly quick. Like a regular burger, you got that thick patty, you gotta wait on the grill. These guys, I'm talking, you're on and off the stove in two and a half minutes. If you wanna know what this is on a star scale for me, one through five, it's five stars. It's a smash burger that's packed with flavor. It's juicy, it's cheesy. Everything comes together perfectly. Hey, if y'all haven't done so already, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment below and let me know what you would put on your smash burger. Hey, my name is Farnham, this is More Seasoning. Shout out to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. I appreciate y'all. Use code MORESEASONING for 10% off. We're done taste testing. We out.